The special counsel in the Hunter Biden investigation says he intends to seek an indictment by the end of this month. It's a statement part of a court filing, a mandatory court filing, and a gun possession case involving the president's son. We've told you about it for weeks now. This is a big turn of events. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge is following all of it, and she has been for weeks. Catherine, good morning. Good morning, Tony. The prosecutor's status report is the strongest signal yet that new charges are looming against the president's son, setting it on a potential collision course with the presidential election. After a five-year investigation, Hunter Biden could soon be facing federal charges. Special counsel David Weiss wrote to the Delaware court, the government intends to seek the return of an indictment in this case before September 29th. Harry Lippman is a former federal prosecutor. I think the message is simple. They're going to throw the book at him on a gun charge that they were previously going to let him uh, actually work off in a couple years. The president's son had previously reached an agreement on the charge of gun possession by a drug user that avoided prosecution if he abided by the terms for two years. But in July, the broader plea agreement, which included misdemeanor tax charges, collapsed, leaving the future of the gun charge deal in question and Hunter Biden facing legal jeopardy from the newly appointed special counsel. What charges could he be talking about? Well, at least he's talking about the gun charge. And of course, we don't know whether the misdemeanor tax charges could also be included. But an attorney for the president's son told CBS News they believe the agreement for the gun offense still stands and prevents any additional charges from being filed against Mr. Biden who has been abiding by the conditions, including regular visits by the probation office. And while President Biden has continually expressed support for his son, he recently stressed the Justice Department's independence in this case. I have no comment on any investigation that's going on. That's up to the Justice Department, and uh, that's all I have to say. Hunter Biden's attorneys say they expect a fair resolution of the case based on evidence and law, not outside political pressure. This development comes as House Republicans have already intensified their investigations of the president and his son. They want special counsel Weiss to testify as early as this month, Nate. Catherine, thank you.